Greetings, fellow Roto Ballers. Let's dive right into our Roto ranks and find you some by Mageddon saviors. Now, Dave, with two of the three top quarterbacks on by, who can we count on this week as a top 12 option? Well, Joey, the DAC attack is back, baby. Or so we think. We'll find out. Our rankers certainly think so, Joe, because he's our QB5, probably due to the amazing matchup versus Detroit, and slotted just ahead of Kyler Murray and Tom Brady this week, who's our QB6 and our QB7. And I believe we have a new face in the top 12, don't we, Joe? You can't keep a good Greek man down. And even with CMC being shipped Via UPS, yeah, USPS, as we speak, Jimmy G is QB12, and if that doesn't scream, bye weeks have started. Well, guess what? I don't know what does. There's shootout potential for Jimmy G in that game. Now, on to tight end, Halloween coming early with all sorts of names that will spook you to the core, Dave. Yeah, Joey, welcome to my house of horrors. We tease you with treats like Kelsey and Andrews at tight end, who's our tight end one and two. But then, boo, Joey, George Kittle, tight end three. Not scary enough for you? How about you come on down to tight end 10, where you will find the vehicle of the dead first it's a hearst Ooh. hayden hearst tight end 10 yeah and if that doesn't scare the bejesus out of you how about evan freaking ingram at tight end 11 this week it's by oh, weeks. dear god my bye week eyes all right now let's calm our nerves to talk a little wide receivers <laughs> i thought you're gonna say my buys my buys, my bye week guys. Now, C.D. Lamb, look, he's back as a stud wide receiver in fantasy. He's our wide receiver five this week, and we remain high on both Seahawks, D.K. and Lockett coming in at wide receiver eight and wide receiver ten. And wait a minute, Dave, I thought I said no more scares. Do I see Amari Cooper as a top 12 option? We do because Baltimore secondary still has that house that's given out all that sweet, sweet candy, let's fantasy get, candy. Yeah, that's right, Joe. And let's give out some running back ranks before Michael Myers sneaks into our top 12 tight ends. He's hard to bring down between the tackles, Dave, but he's got he's got the stone hands. It's yeah. a problem. Cannot catch that guy. Sorry, Mike. It's still Ramondre Stevens season. He's our RB5. Uh, but I want to highlight a name that you won't find in our top 10. Nay, you won't even find it in our top 12. How the mighty have fallen. Jonathan Taylor all the way down as our RB12, I should say, not inside the top 12. I bet our roller butter rankers have him uh, on their fantasy teams, Joe, because he's been absolutely brutal, and that's probably why they pushed him so far. But look, we love to see what we're seeing out of Brees Hall. He's our RB13, and if there was ever a week to start Zeke, Joe, it looks like it's against the Lions. He's RB19 this week. Now that we've given you all that sweet, sweet fantasy info, we're going to run it down for you in 60 seconds, and here we go. Here are the risers and fallers for Week 7's Rotor Baller ranks at quarterback. Dak Attack is back. We think so. He's quarterback 5. And if you're desperate, we think the handsome Greek, Jimmy G himself, is a top streaming option as our QB12. Yeah, and tight end, Joey, it's still a horror movie. Hayden Hurst is a great Goddard substitute. He's our tight end 10. And if you close your eyes, plug your nose, you can even start Evan Ingram this week, who got 16 targets over his last two games and is our tight end 11. And for pass catchers, you're starting all of your studs, and now that includes, once again, C.D. Lamb. He's back, baby. He's our wide receiver five, and we think you can start Amari Cooper with confidence as a top 12 wide receiver this week. But if you want to keep things on the ground in your flex, look no further than Brees Hall. He's our RB13, and this might be the best-looking week for Zeke, Joe. He's facing Detroit. He's a top 20 RB, coming in as our RB19, but things are a bit bleak for Jonathan Taylor managers. We have him outside the top 10 looking in as our RB12. That'll do it. Now go like, subscribe, and go win that league.